If you're not using the multipress, you're probably missing out for multiple reasons. What you're looking at here is a case at the insertion phase. The multi angle pressable material is a top notch solution for natural restorations in full monolithic form, whether your case is crowns or veneer case, staining technique, or even micro layering. What I really want to show here not just the real translucency at the incisal third or the seamless transition between the incisal and the Dunton layer, but also the maskability of the Dunton layer, which effectively serve in masking severe discoloration such as the ND8 and ND9 and on a really limited thickness of, of just one mil. That's really a unique material property. And the good news for lab techs, yes, that the muffle is good for just four units, but that's really all you need. I mean, you need to show a real significant incisal like translucency just in the aesthetic zone, right? In the forefront, the centrals and the laterals. And the rest can be either like pressed or, or milled out of MT or LT, what I did in this case, like I did just the front, central and lateral using the multi-press and the canine premolar and molar using the uh, Emacs CAD material, uh, MT. And the shade, like same shade will be picked for the multi and you'll have definitely a perfect uh, matching in shade dimension. And that's exactly what you see in our case here, like the forefront are uh, multi-press and the rest of the restorations are Emacs CAD. And uh, look at the natural uh, natural looking transition here in, in, in the layer progression. Even during the transition to the translucent third, the high brightness is maintained. Like usually the critical part in, in developing any restorative material with, uh, with multiple layer is the transition layer. So uh, what you see here, effective masking ability at the cervical and real bright translucency at the uh, incisal. And that's really a unique combination in the, in the material, uh, restorative material optical properties.